Hi, I'm Stefan Hammond, Managing Editor of Telecom Asia. We're here today with Mr. Johnny Chung. He's Director of FBB Strategy and Planning for Huawei Southern Pacific Region. Mr. Chung, consumers today demand HD video, which is now either 720p or 1080p. What evolution will we see in telecom video service over the next five years? To answer this question, I need to mention that uh, in the past five years, when we have uh, experienced the evolution of the media of social network, from the first uh, from the uh, text to the voice to the video, and uh, in future for the mobile broadband network, I'm sure that uh, when the technologies just like LTE and EMBMS get mature, we gotta uh, we are walking to a uh, year we have uh, 2K mobile video everywhere in the next five years. But uh, when it comes to the fixed broadband, things are different from the mobile broadband because it's originally we have IPTV and other OTT video already in the network. And uh, as the mature of the 4K coding and decoding chipsets and terminals, and especially for the contents, we believe that uh, in the next five years, the uh, 4K service will be very mature and uh, walked into uh, people's life. As new HD standards for IPTV and OTT services shift to 4K, how will networks evolve to accommodate the sharply increased traffic? It's a very big challenge for the operator because as we know that uh, 4K service require 30 to 60 megabit per second bandwidth, which is depending on the frame speed of the video. And uh, for to handle in this kind of uh, traffic, uh, normally we can uh, start from two aspects. One is that uh, we have to ensure the end-to-end -end bandwidth is rich, this kind of uh, big bandwidth, almost uh, um, among uh, 30 megabit to 60 megabit per user. And uh, to uh, ensure the uh, how do you say, the smooth evolution to this ultra broadband network, we need to make sure that uh, uh, these days we, we already have a very mature technical at the uh, 10 gigabit uh, IP ports or even uh, 400 to one terabit IP ports. And also the optical uh, layer, the uh, optical ports also reaches 40, 400 uh, giga to one, one terabit giga. So uh, the, uh, I think the biggest challenge is how we can make them work together of the IP layer and optical layer, especially for the OAM and the protection and uh, the reliability of the network. And uh, to uh, optimize the architecture, I think it's a very hot topic today that SDN and NFV will be uh, included into our considerations in the future evolution of the network. And uh, on the other hand, uh, when we have uh, matured uh, uh, network with the IP plus optical transmission, we need to think about how to uh, uh, lower the power or the power consumption or the efficiency of the network uh, so that uh, we need to uh, think more uh, in our uh, in-house design chipsets which will uh, lower the uh, power consumption in a very fundamental point of view. Consumers today are king. What innovations in video delivery will help keep them satisfied and help avoid churn? For this question, I think uh, it's uh, mainly depending on the uh, business model of the uh, operator, which kind of business model they, they gotta uh, put into the market. And uh, as far as I see, um, for the uh, 4K video, the, there are two mainstream business models in the, in the market. One is uh, uh, the monthly contract IPTV service. So uh, w if the operator puts uh, 4K into this kind of a business model, uh, which means that uh, the customer has originally higher expectations to the service. So uh, in this case, the operator needs to put a lot of effort to ensure the end-to-end network quality so that people will not complain 
because it's already paid services. And uh, the other business model will be uh, something like a v uh, value added service of internet. So uh, it could be a video on demand or just a, a click to view uh, OTT video. And uh, in this uh, case, I think the customers normally because it's based on internet, they will get less expectations to the 4K uh, services so that they will uh, try to uh, say, uh, try more new things, new tech such, such like uh, the video on demand which is provided by the uh, uh, operators to uh, enhance the, the quality of the service. At the same time, their uh, satisfactions will be uh, optimized, actually, compared to the first business model. I think at the beginning of the 4K video rolling out, uh, most uh, of the uh, operators were willing to, to uh, choose the uh, video on demand value added service as an uh, internet. Right? So because uh, we, we, we cannot see many more contents at this, this time. How can legacy networks evolve smoothly to ultra-broadband networks over the next five years? And what roadblocks should operators expect? For the future ultra-broadband networks, I think uh, a very important thing is that uh, we can foresee that in the future network there will be a very uh, higher bandwidth required services running into that. One thing we can see today is 4K video. And uh, uh, to uh, handle this kind of uh, traffic in the network, we are looking for a high throughput network, which is kind of different from the high bandwidth uh, network. Because uh, uh, I think in future network, most of the uh, technologies used today can be uh, evolved smoothly to future because uh, from Huawei point of view, the uh, IP and uh, the optical or access uh, products are developed at the same platform. Uh, so uh, which ensure that uh, all the chipsets and uh, our uh, line card or the backplane of the uh, boxes has the ability to uh, evolve to the future uh, technologies smoothly. And uh, to, in re to enhance the throughput of the network, I think uh, we will focus on um, two aspects. One is that uh, we need to uh, establish the flattened network, which uh, can be uh, evolved from today's uh, very complex tree topology or ring topology metro network. Just uh, add some uh, WDM uh, boxes to make sure point-to-point uh, uh, -point direct connection of the flattened network. And uh, the other thing is that uh, we got to make sure that uh, we will do something to optimize the uh, TCP protocols, which most of the video services, just 4K, is bared on these TCP protocols. So uh, by optimizing the TCP connection, we can also uh, ensure the throughputs of the end-to-end -end network to make sure that in the next five years, the ultra-broadband capability is equipped into our today's network.